All right, guys, so I know we've been waiting for a while for Boss to bring out an editor, but it seems like they won't come out with anything anytime soon. So for the meantime, I've come up with a little workaround. If you want to rearrange your presets, save them where you want to. Maybe someone can add on, use this for something and add on to it and expand on it to make it even better. So sweet. Now this right here is just a little proof of concept just to show that it works. Okay. So we have patch right here in 1A and I'm using a Mio MIDI cable. This will also work with USB, but right now I have MIDI plugged in. So that's what I'm going to use. So, um, yeah, so patch 1A, high above it all. Right now I have a SysX librarian open. I think a lot of people have used it, but uh, if not, I'll explain later how to use it. But so, um, I just hit record many, and now it's waiting for the DD500. So just go to edit, uh, come down here to MIDI bulk dump, and then the from and two. That's just the range that you want to send. So we only want to send 1A, I'm gonna have to go all the way down. Okay, so we have from 1A to 1A, so only 1A. Hit edit to execute, sending bulk data. It received it, so hit done. And now let's find it in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, so it's untitled. So I'm just gonna type in real quick high above and that was in 1a whoops 1a so now we have it right there and so now uh, we can save it to any patch any other patch we want so we can get get wild no we can go let's just do 13c okay so now we come over to this little program that I wrote I'll show this later but then right here, enter the patch number. We want 13C. The equivalent hexadecimal number is 11C. So now this is where it kind of gets confusing. You're gonna have to have hex fiend. And so sysx librarian, you go to finder. Actually, whoa, no Siri. Siri was wow. I don't know what that was, crazy. Okay, so just did command space, find the sysx librarian. Now find high above it all. Here we go, high above 1A. Take that, go to downloads, and just hit command V. Paste it in the downloads. And then hex fiend, file open file and then high above 1a yeah I did a lot of testing that's what these are so high above 1a sorry I'm like leaning over definitely getting a core workout right now okay so over here it said the equivalent hexadecimal number is 11c so now we come to hex fiend come right here three always have a three and then one one c okay oh this is definitely a core workout sign in your workout more so then save this as high above what are we 13 c we're going to 13 c there we go save that and now we go back to sysx librarian Add, downloads, high above 13C. So 13C right now, lovely Vibra Delay, one of the stock patches, high above 13C. And now, whoop, there it is. Um, let's just prove that the settings, 7131, effect and feedback. High above it all, 7131. All right, so now we're here in the computer side of everything. So the last video, I kind of showed how to how to use the SysX librarian with the DD500, and I kind of just like proof of concept showing that it works. So I'll kind of show you how it works and uh, what to do. So 
when you have your sysx librarian i know it seemed like a lot <laughs> in the last video it's like really i gotta do all that just to like swap like where where the patch is it's just like just to rearrange it it's just like that's not really worth it but um that was doing all the steps in one go so like loading it into here from the dd500 and then changing it and then saving it the chances are you'll already have this stuff saved so like if you're like me like playing at church like on the weekend you may tend to do the same songs like you know they're on like a cycle and so having those songs already loaded in here you can just kind of edit it week by week and it's like all right this one i'm playing found in you first then love goes on then jesus i come so like that and you can just change the order but so yeah so that's kind of why it's useful but trust me i would love for this to be much easier if it had a user interface like that that's why if anyone knows how to do that i will give you all of this and please yeah go to town so um yeah so now how to do this it would be amazing if you could just contents and change it in here because what we have to do is we have to change the actual hexadecimal code and tell it to save it in this certain patch but yeah unfortunately we can't just edit it in here so um let's see let's do pieces and let's save that to about I don't know, maybe 13C, all right? So the way we go about it is getting this application, Hexfiend, Hexfiend. You can download it off the uh, internet. <laughs> um, yeah, it's completely free. I downloaded it, obviously, and I'm still alive, so it's all good. So now file, open file, and then you want to go to documents right here, sysx librarian, and then open up pieces. And then now, you'll want to have three columns. It'll just make things simpler. If you don't have three, say you have four, like this, just click and drag. Oh no, not that far. And right there. So three columns. And so pretty much what you want to do is see these four numbers, three, zero, four, eight. Those are your numbers. Those are the money numbers. That's what you need to change in order to uh, change where it saves it. And so because we humans do not really know hexadecimal code, I wrote this program that'll transfer uh, a patch number to hexadecimal number. So enter the patch number that you want to save to. I think I said 13C. So do a space after the 13. It can be capital or lowercase. But yeah, just make sure you have that space. Really important. Patch is 13C. The equivalent hexadecimal number is 11C. So like to convert another, you can do yes and I like do it all again. I just hit N. So yeah. So now magic number 11c and now hexfiend is kind of weird so what you'll want to do is highlight these four okay and then so this three is a constant you always want that three there but uh something that's weird okay so just gonna show you this i'm gonna click after the eight i will hit backspace one time this is one backspace see how it deleted both the four and the eight because the hexacode is in or hexadecimals, sorry, are in like pairs of two like that. So when you delete one, you delete both of them. So then one more backspace, there we go. And now we want that three, that's a constant, and then one, one, C. So now we have three, one, one, C, one, one, C. All right, awesome. So now come here, file, save as, and this is pieces, and it's, we're saving it to 13 C. So let's specify that, saving it to that sysx librarian. And then boom, save. Come to the sysx librarian, and then you'll have to hit plus, and then right here, pieces, 13c, open, and then now double click it. Boom, it just sent it. And let's see, actually, I have my DD500 right here. Let me just kind of prove that it works. And yeah, it worked. So. Yeah, so I know you guys didn't see that, but I just wanted to <laughs> make make sure it still works. Uh, so yeah, so that's how all of this works. I know as of right now, it's not the simplest thing to use, having to use Hexfiend to change it, and then using my program in order to find it. However, this is like a huge stepping stone because now we actually know how to like break through the DD500 save patches to it, and so hopefully. This will spark someone's uh, thought process and get them thinking, and then hopefully they can elaborate upon it. So, yeah, thank you.